food, water, housing, healthcare are all basic necessities. They are a human right. Everyone should have access to them, full stop. Shouldn't matter your social economic class, shouldn't matter your zip code, shouldn't matter your country origin, shouldn't matter your sex, gender, racial identity. They are basic human necessities. No one should go without. No one should be forced to go without. And politicians, especially Republicans, like to use um, these human rights that should be available to everyone as a bargaining chip in order to eliminate taxes for the wealthy and create more opportunities where people can continue to hoard wealth while the masses suffer. Now, we normally talk about entertainment news and things like that, but let's shift gears real quick to the economy, more specifically to these high ass prices for everything. Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So um, let's get a different perspective on the economy. I wanted to show some feedback of how the everyday person is surviving in this current inflation instead of getting into the facts and statistics economists and all of that stuff that a lot of people already know let's get into how is that affecting people like you and i minimum wage needs to be 50 dollars. i don't care nobody's gonna argue me down about it not 15 not 17 not 20 50 dollars. i do not understand how a country who is built on capitalism is expecting people to participate in capitalism with no money. This whole concept of keeping the poor poor and the rich rich when the majority of the people in this United States are poor or middle class and there's only a few people who hold the majority of the wealth in this country expecting this country to function with only the one percent because the majority of the one percent own these companies that we are purchasing from right? So if we can't afford to purchase from them, they start to lose revenue because nobody is buying from their companies and then they suffer. So then everybody suffers. Okay. You see my drift? So how are you expecting people to keep the economy going in the same mindset that you're having? Let's say we stick with capitalism, keeping the rich, rich and the poor, poor and keeping that 1% without providing the majority of the people in the United States with enough money to participate in capitalism. Oh. Fed Chair Jerome Powell hasn't ruled out additional rate hikes in the fall and noted the impact on working families. My colleagues and I are acutely aware that high inflation imposes significant hardship as it erodes purchasing power, especially for those least able to meet the higher cost of essentials like food, housing, and transportation. This shit is hard. Rent's going up. Electricity's going up. My auto insurance just went up because I live in Massachusetts and I have a great job and I'm still struggling. How are y'all doing this? Like seriously, how are y'all doing this? Like this shit is hard. Just don't know if I need to start selling something. Body organs, limbs. I mean, what are you all doing? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm tired and I'm broke and I'm tired of being broke. So. How are you guys surviving this economic crisis? Because I have a good income and I started now this side hustle to help me because even my good income was not enough. If, so I went to a home and my rental it was back then in, in 2022 was 2,520. And now in January in 2023, it went up to $2,845. From 2520 to $2,845 with no extra increase in my pay. Um, I'm due for an increase now, which I'm sure it's going to be 2%, and, but that doesn't kick in till March. So in the meantime, yes, it went from 2520 to $2,845. So I want to know, can you guys share in your comments below, what are you guys doing? Because it's getting out of hand. Yep, yep. Um, all of that sounds about right. Um, it, it's it's pretty much right on par with what I was already thinking, and some of my experiences and experiences of people that I know in corporate America, whether they make six figures or they just make thirty, forty thousand dollars, everybody is feeling it to some degree 
everybody's situation is different. However, the general consensus is it's real out here in these streets. Put your comments below on your thoughts and your experiences dealing with this inflation. And is that pretty much what you've seen here from other people or is it different? Let me know in the comments. Talk to you soon. Marcus at Work Media.